What up guys, your boy Quake and DMX has taken some shots at Lloyd Banks and what's the reason why? Let's find out but before we get into that be sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at QuakeGW. A link is in the description below for both. So DMX appeared on Fat Man Scoop's Instagram show. Shout out to Fat Man Scoop. He actually showed me love on my YouTube videos and said that the documentaries that I make need to be on Netflix. So shout out to him. He had DMX as a guest on his Instagram live show. And while there, he was mentioning a bunch of artists that he felt were very lyrical and talented. And Scoop ended up mentioning Lloyd Banks. And when he mentioned Lloyd Banks, DMX stopped him and basically questioned him and said, hey, Banks is not that lyrical. Mention a couple bars from him to prove to me that he's lyrical. Check it out. Yeah. Hey, Rick, Rick. Mel, uh, uh, KRS, Lloyd Banks, Big L, Eminem, DMX, Drake. Lloyd Banks, Lloyd Banks, Lloyd Banks, Lloyd Banks. Huh? Lloyd, Lloyd Banks, Banks, of course. Bro, Lloyd Banks, one of the illest lines ever. All right, all right quote, quote, quote four bars. Impress me with four bars is. Come on, X, come on, I can't Give me four bars. Fuck. Yo, it shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be hard. Four come bars. On. Four come bars. On, fuck no, fuck it. Give me two. Give me two. I can't two think bars. Huh? I can't think of them now. I just was right. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Come on, okay. Come on let me ask you. Okay, anybody, anybody, I name. Bars on deck. Bars on deck. Come on, listen, niggas, shooters. So after this came out, of course, it caused a bit of controversy on social media. People were checking it out and tagging Lloyd Banks on Twitter. One fan tagged him and said, "Dog man is my guy and all, but what the heck is DMX talking about?" LOL at Lloyd Banks top five. Lloyd Banks saw the tweet and responded by quoting him and saying, I have no clue. God bless him. Now, normally I would think that Banks would stop tweeting after that and not really address the situation, but he continued and revealed what he feels like is the real reason why DMX disrespected him. He said in the next tweet, so because I didn't come to the studio to work when he reached out, I'm not that good. Laughing emoji. Then somebody responded to that tweet saying, Dog is tweaking, but how are you, are you going to turn down a legend though? Banks said that he didn't turn down DMX, he just had a flight to catch. Before we continue today's video, I want to give a big shout out to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. Did you know two out of the three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair left. And the great thing about Keeps is you can do everything from home. You used to have to go to the doctor's office for your hair loss prescription, but thanks to Keeps now you can visit a doctor online and get hair loss medication delivered right to your home. They make it easy and deliver your medication every three months. Keeps also offers generic versions of the only two FDA approved hair loss products out there. You probably tried them before, but never at this price. I've been suffering from hair loss myself since 2014. I remember going to Germany, coming back in early 2015 over the new year. And when I came back, I shaved my head and the left side of my temple was basically gone. I was going crazy. I wish at the time Keeps was available because I was just entering college and had to spend roughly like $100 a month. And for a college student, that's an insane amount of money and my best advice to you guys is to take care of it as soon as possible so if you're noticing you're losing your hair do something about it for a limited time go to keeps.com forward slash dm or click the link in the description to receive 50 percent off your first order that's keeps.com forward slash dm thank you for watching now back to the video now the funniest part about this whole thing is that dmx saw lloyd banks's tweets and his response to lloyd banks's tweets I don't even know if it makes the situation better or worse. I'm going to read it to you guys. He posted it on his Instagram story. He posted the tweet and said, hey, it takes a real guy to admit when he's wrong. My apologies to Lloyd Banks. I was thinking Tony Yayo when I was asked about Banks. I fuck with Banks. So I don't even know if this response makes the situation worse because one, it's kind of disrespectful to compare Lloyd Banks to Tony Yayo. I know they're in the same group. But Yayo, lyrically, even Yayo would admit this. This is no disrespect to Tony Yayo. He would even admit that he's not lyrically as good as Lloyd Banks. So that's the first thing. To even confuse the two lyrically is insane. Second, you're just disrespecting Banks' like, best friend since they grew up from the childhood. So it's kind of like the same thing. You're just saying, hey, you know, I'm not talking shit about you, but your best friend, yeah, he's 
pretty much ass. So I don't know how Banks is going to take this or how he's going to react. It's just funny overall that DMX got Lloyd Banks confused with Tony Yayo. So if that's the whole reason why DMX disrespected Lloyd Banks, all because Banks didn't do a track with him when he reached out, that's pretty petty. DMX should address that. And if they go back and forth, hopefully some music comes out of it. Obviously, I don't want any battle getting into something serious. I would love for them to, to go at it on wax with tracks and nothing violent because a lot of rappers do that where it's just battling. It's just for hip-hop, sport, and fun. Banks, in my opinion, hasn't really battled anyone one-on-one -on -one that wasn't tied to G-Unit or 50. Every time Banks got involved with something, it was always tied to to G unit situation or 50 situation like with Rick Ross, Ja Rule, Game, so on and so forth. Banks clearly has the talent to go and battle any artist. I would put my money with Lloyd Banks every single time because to me he's one of my favorite and most lyrical rappers ever. So this would be a great opportunity to showcase that talent. But DMX lyrically to me isn't on the level of Banks. DMX can create some great songs and obviously he's a bigger artist than Lloyd Banks because he sold a lot more records, has a lot more number one hits, so on and so forth. So if anything comes out of this, I hope Banks you know, does a diss track towards him or DMX does and they go back and forth. I would love to see it as long as it doesn't lead to anything violent just on wax diss tracks back and forth see who's better if this leads to anything i hope it leads to dmx and banks actually doing a track together the only time that they ever appeared on the same track together was on busta rhymes's touch it remix banks was on there as a feature for guest and same with dmx go on that track listen to it and see who had the better verse in my opinion it was slightly better on Banks's end than X's end, but they're both amazing artists. I love them almost equally. Also, DMX asked Scoop to quote a couple of great bars from Banks, so I decided to do that in this video of some of my favorite tracks, of some of my favorite bars from Banks. And if you're not really familiar with Banks' music, go check out my What Happened to Lloyd Banks video. It's actually about to reach a million views, which is crazy. Go check that out. I go over his whole catalog, and I mention some of my favorite tracks from him. But first, let's talk about these bars. So the track Victory with 50 Cent, that is the main track everyone goes to when mentioning Lloyd Banks and bars and how great of an artist he is. That's probably the number one track you should mention to someone if they ask you about Lloyd Banks or if they ask bars from Lloyd Banks. This is my favorite line from that track. He says, I know the watch bothering your vision, but reach and I'll put a dot on your head like it's part of your religion. And I love those bars because they're self-explanatory and simple, but dope at the same time. So that's the line that I always go to. My next favorite is a track called Work Magic on the Hunger for More album featuring Young Buck. Here are my favorite bars from that track. He says, Baby had tried to steal off the payroll. I'll have guys scraping the skin off your face with the same shit they peel the potatoes. I thank the Lord for the, my blessings, and I'm glad he gave us the willpower and reflexes of Larry Davis. You don't want to see my block foreman. That's 101 dogs, and I don't mean the ones with the spots on them. We're respected highly because you don't need to practice gymnastics to catch a body. And this one is also my favorite. It's off the track, Banks Workout. He says, act hard, but your heart made a marshmallows, man. Talk tough till you get cuffed and start telling damn. Every day I got a new bitch, and when I'm done with her, it'll look like she dived headfirst into Cool Whip. You only gonna wind up dead trying to prove shit. I put chalk around your head like a pool stick. I gotta have bucks on the waist. I'm hungry like a South African with flies stuck to his face. So those three are just some of my favorites. He obviously has an insane amount more of bars and punchlines that you can go through. Literally on every single track, there's at least one line that makes you go crazy and say wow this guy is super talented so it's insane that dmx even said that but i want to ask you guys what do you guys think do you guys think dmx is just petty because he didn't get that feature with banks do you guys think they should go head to head in a battle whether it's ig live in the versus battle 
or on tracks on wax also who do you guys like more dmx or lloyd banks let me know in the comments below with that being said if you want to support the channel further you can do so at patreon.com backslash diverse mentality for just a dollar a month or more you can help support the channel further a link is in the description below like comment share and definitely subscribe i do videos like this daily on hip-hop news and much more so definitely subscribe follow me on twitter and on instagram at quake gw like us on facebook and i'll see you guys in the next one peace